And then look at the veins coming out of his head. That's kind of like the meme of that kid that's in his classroom. What's he trying to do? Hold back something or whatever? What's going on, Geminites? And everyone else watching who saw this in your recommended and decided to give me a chance. My name's Gem Mint, and today we're going to be doing a statue unboxing and review for the Prime One Studio Conrad from Berserk. This quarter scale piece depicts one of the God Hand, one of the four deities who enticed Griffith, turned him into Femto, and caused all kind of ruckus for Guts, Casca, and everyone else on Earth. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are on the final stretch on our road to 100,000 subscribers. We're going to be doing a huge giveaway, but stay tuned to the end of the video for all the details on that. Without further ado, let's get this guy out the box. Man, I'm out of breath. This is a huge box, man. It makes me think that Conrad is going to be much bigger than I expected because he's not a tall character, but I think it's going to be a really wide, little short, fat base. So anyway, you can see we have Conrad on the front as he is always depicted in the manga with that puffed out face and the crossed fingers. Uh, you see it's part of the Ultimate Premium Master line, Brand of Sacrifice on the side, different picture of Conrad on the back. And so on. Let's see what's in the East Styrofoam. All right, so inside the box, we have an advertisement for Skull Knight on Horse. I think I gotta get this guy, man. I don't know if I need the DX, but we're gonna definitely pick him up. And we're definitely gonna pick her up as well. Shirke, she looks cool. Kinda looks very fantasy-like, but man, plays a major role in the story. So that's that. Then it comes with the assembly instructions. Wait a minute, is this guy only two pieces? What? That's crazy. Well, looks like it's going to be an easy assembly. Let's get the top of the box off. All right, yeah, just two pieces. Wow, I like that shine on the shell of Conrad. That kind of shiny purple look looks great. Let's take a look at the base. All right, so here's the bottom. You can see we have number 24 out of 350. A uh, huge base and you can see it's got kind of the cracked egg of the baylet with those tormented faces surrounding him and here goes big creepy Conrad oh, he's heavy let's get him on the base all right well that makes sense why this box was so tall it's basically two of these guys next to each other and I'm surprised it was only two pieces I thought for sure like the head would be separate all these tentacles but no, Prime One decided, let's just make it two pieces, and that's what they did. So here's Conrad, super creepy looking demon. He looks like a beetle. He's described as being a wood louse, which if you think louse or lice, super disgusting. And that's how a lot of these apostles and demons look in the Berserk universe, which is very unsettling. Now there's really nothing known about Conrad in the Berserk manga or in the animes. You really just see him in the same exact pose for the most part not really developed or fleshed out and that's why i was surprised that he got a statue so quick before some characters like seprico or even like some of the cooler characters like void and slan who do have statues coming as well but now that i see that it wasn't that much uh, as far as engineering and it had a low edition size of 350 uh, maybe that's why the factory just pushed this one out really fast this has a retail price of 800 dollars. i got this directly through prime one's website and i paid for economy shipping which I want to say was like $130 if I recall. And that means that it took about a month or so to get here. It actually shipped on Halloween. And today is Black Friday. So it took like less than a month. But anyway, he's a powerful character. He's a god. He's up there with Slan and with Void and with Cubic and with Femto. Uh, as far as the statue himself, it has everything else that the other Prime 1 Studio bases have. It has that sub base that matches the rest of them with the calligraphy on it. Although it does not have a brand of sacrifice, none of the God Hand do. That is only four characters, I guess, who are branded. Then you have a similar egg, uh, kind of like the Femto statue, which uh, looks like Conrad is breaking out of. You can see all the different textures on the outside with that dark, deep red. It has all the cracks. And on the inside, you have that pinkish, like, inner flesh of the egg. Above that, the ground that he's standing on has all of these poor tortured souls that appeared during the feast uh, during the eclipse saga after the golden age arc in the manga and in the anime so it has a nice glossy deep red you have faces 
looking mangled. Their tongues are sticking out. Some of them are just skulls, and they just look like they're sad, tortured souls. Then we have Conrad. So I, I just am now realizing once it's in hand, he's kind of got like this draped curtain that covers his legs or whatever he, he uses to walk on. Uh, and that kind of also reminds me of the Skull Knight on Horse, which has a similar type of draped veil. Uh, it has good textures to it, and it has a nice shiny paint application. It looks a little slimy, uh, but it looks very well detailed. His shell is uh, very well painted, man. I mean, the, the first thing that comes to my mind is candy paint. It has like that dark green to kind of like dark turquoise color on the main parts of the shell and they are outlined by this royal purple, almost like a metallic shiny paint, looks really good. Then you have his little tendrils sticking out, those kind of remind me of the uh, the creature from the Sideshow Gladiator Hulk maquette, but they are a pinkish flesh tone, you have these veins in there, they're kind of wiggling around, super gross. And then you have the front of him, this is how he always looks in the manga, he just has his eyes closed, his face is kind, kind of puffed out, and his hands are together with his fingers crossed, just plotting on something. Super creepy. Almost has like an Uncle Fester vibe. I like the textures on his skull and, and his cheeks. You really can get that skin type of look. It looks realistic and it has great paint applications. You have that almost white to light pink top and then you have this darker color pink that go around the parts of his face that are being squinted like the, his temples or even like uh, around his jaw. And then look at the veins coming out of his head. That's kind of like the meme of that kid that's in his classroom. What's he trying to do? Hold back something or whatever? Uh, and it, it almost looks like Conrad's getting ready to exert some power. Super weird, creepy character. Uh, I do plan to put this in my Maju cases with the rest of the Berserk statues. Uh, let's see what the measurements are gonna be. It looks like the diameter is about 15 inches. So we'll probably try to get him next to Femto somewhere there uh, until the Berserk statues take over the entire Maju case. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for Conrad. It's always an exciting day to add a new Berserk piece to the collection. The next one that should be coming in should be Slan with Ubik, which are two of the God Hand. And then we'll just be missing Void, who I have on pre-order as well. Uh, a couple of other Berserk statues coming down the pipeline. Two different types of Skull Knights. I need them both because especially uh, the one without the horse has the World Egg Behelet exclusive, which is going to go with my collection of exclusive Behelets or Bailets. So I need that. Uh, we have Casca on order for sure. I'm kind of still thinking about one-third scale Guts. And when the new quarter scale, older Berserker Guts comes in, I'm going to have to jump on that. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's gonna wrap it up. Uh, we do have a big giveaway that we're gonna announce very soon We're almost at a hundred thousand. We have less than 2,500 subscribers to go I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna give away yet. It's definitely gonna be a statue for first place Definitely gonna be a CGC 9.8 key issue for second and some type of hardcover for third But uh, give me a little bit of time I want to make it really special because 100,000 subscribers. It's a hell of an achievement and it's thanks to you guys who are watching supporting me and uh, enjoying the videos. So with that being said, I'm gonna let you out of here with the playlist of my other statue unboxing and reviews. And I have a special Berserk playlist right here, which just has all the statues, all the manga reviews, the anime review and more. All right guys, thanks for watching and stay minty fresh. Peace.